Chapter 15 Race Against Time The following day, Mr. Aga Imran sent a message summoning Zishan and inquired about the letter found on Inspector Ahmed's body. He wanted to know if Zishan was somehow involved in the murder because the police were actively searching for the letter's author. Aga revealed to Zishan that he had learned that his handwriting matched the letters. And some police officers suspected that the writer had deliberately made the letter appear as if it were penned by a child. Zishan admitted to writing the letter but professed ignorance about the murder. He also disclosed that he and his friend Tarek had jointly sent letters to city dignitaries and top government officials, accusing Inspector Ahmed of collusion with the saboteurs. They believed that this information had led to Inspector Ahmed's arrest, making him a target for the saboteurs. Concerned, Zishan asked, what will happen now? Aga responded, whatever is decreed by Allah. In every situation, one must be grateful to God. When a person knows he is innocent, he should have faith in Allah. Even if all the falsehoods in the world unite against the truth, they cannot prevail. Truth always triumphs. Later, in the evening, when the lawyer came to visit Mr. Aga, he delivered some good news. Congratulations, Mr. Aga. I've gathered substantial evidence against Inspector Ahmed. Numerous witnesses and clear evidence prove that he was involved with the saboteurs. Furthermore, after Inspector Ahmed's death, the witness who had testified against you recanted, fearing for his life. He now claims that those people will even kill him in jail. Mr. Aga, your bail will be granted as soon as the courts open tomorrow morning. Yet, despite the hopeful news, Aga couldn't shake off his worries about Zishan. He implored the jailer to arrange for him to meet Inspector Shoaib or speak to him over the phone. The jailer complied and called Inspector Shoaib, conveying Aga Imran's request to see him. Inspector Shoaib promptly arrived at the jail cell. I just wanted to talk to you about Zishan, Mr. Aga explained, his voice tinged with concern. Please ensure that he is safe. You know he was kidnapped by saboteurs before, and he wears a pendant with a transmitter. We also have a receiver to monitor his whereabouts and safety. If he's in danger, I want the police to be alerted. Inspector Shoaib nodded and agreed to keep a watchful eye on Zishan's pendant location. Not long after, Inspector Shoaib received a call. He was informed that Zishan and Tarek needed to be arrested. When he called Mr. Aga Imran to share this news, it left Aga feeling uneasy. What do you intend to do? he inquired. Inspector Shoaib hesitated for a moment before replying, Sir, I was thinking of talking to you about it first. Arresting them won't be easy. I thought I'd explain the situation to you. Mr. Aga Imran, showing understanding, advised, It's better if you keep them under your watch. Tell their families that I've called them over to my place for their safety. That should keep them safe. My bail should be granted tomorrow, and I hope that'll ease some of the worries I have about Zishan. Later in the evening, Inspector Shoaib received another call. This time, he learned that Zishan and Tarek had left their homes secretly, and their families were in the dark about their whereabouts. Mr. Aga Imran, concerned, told Inspector Shoaib, I want to tell you something that I can't discuss over the phone. Come to see me immediately. Inspector Shoaib arrived shortly, and Aga Imran divulged to him the information provided by Zishan. According to Zishan, the saboteurs had a base in a house in Sector Z, containing a significant stash of currency, firearms, explosives, and vehicles used for attacks throughout the country. Aga Imran was convinced that Zishan and Tarek were somewhere near that house. 
He worried that Zishan might get caught up in a dangerous situation and advised Inspector Shoaib to immediately surround Sector Z and locate Zishan using the device information. He emphasized the importance of avoiding confrontations or damage to surrounding houses.